Hello again, YouTube Master the Keyblade 3 coming at you again, this time with a very awesome review. Very awesome. Just rarely it's a rarely found thing, but the Paleo Max Megazord. Here it is. I mean, well, there's the packaging. And as you see, Paleo Max. And there's the, you know, sticker thing in the jig. The three dinos. Kuretsuo, Keyline, and K Line. Along with the RPM symbol. You know what? Here, let me just take it around to it. There we are. Much better, much better. And it says, uh, engine sale included. If you can't read that, sorry if you can't. Camera. It's camera and combined three engines. And the warning and advertisements. The other things, the uh, new guardians, the new uh, red guardian, uh, you know, wolf guard, uh, lion guardian, and the gold ranger guardian. And Paleo Max again. Their side is the uh, full throttle. Is the Throttle Max ones. And, you know, they're samurai like armor and guns, whatever. And the grinder. Oddly colored grinder. And finally, on the back, the three Zords, then the two, three other Megazords, and then that is. And then the Zenith, Skyrev, and Ultra Zord. Which will be shown. Yep. So, right on to the Zords now. Let's talk that away. And. Camera angle, and here we are. Koretsuo, T line, and K line. Uh, let me get K line in the frame. There we are. All three of the ancestral engines, also, but in RPM, they're just known as Paleo Max Zord, Paleo or the Paleo Zord. So you know, no individual names except them just being called the Paleo Zord, which is okay, but. In Japan, go under. This is Kuretsuo, the main engine. He's a steam engine and a mammoth. Uh, unfortunately, though, the only complaint I have with this figure, on its, with just this part of him, is um, well, the only thing that moves is his tusks. His trunk doesn't move, unfortunately. So you can't get his uh, Kuretsuo uh, Ice Age Express, the Ice Age Express attack or whatever. So. Which sucks, because you can get these moves, it'd be cool if you could move this, but no. Not this time. And, the whole thing did come with, is the number 10, Corezzo's engine cell. As you can see, it's like a mammoth. Oh, yeah, stupid thing on that. Pulling frame, but it's got his trunk, and then his body, and then here they have a little thing for his tusks, to show his tusks off. But to put him in, you just uh, take him here, it's right here. Gotta get your nail in, like there. And then just take him and put him in. Uh, they have it designed to where you have to put it in this way, in, into it this way. But unfortunately, which isn't very sure accurate, it's sure accurate. You're gonna have the light up there, the LED there, and show up here around his test. But so to insert it, you just gotta go. I insert it downwards. Some people would do it the other way, but this I do it, and it's kind of hard to get in there sometimes, you just gotta get in there we are. Right where I need it to be. And clock it in and done. And now, here's that. There's his back thing for his legs. And this is a train thing. Yeah. And then here's T line, the Tyrannosaurus. He goes oh, oh, oh. And he actually shows his off his teeth this time. Which I find is nice. And I already have his uh, thing deployed but See here, there's the tab to plug him into the legs or arms for the G12 and then the thing for the train and to uh, insert his engine so you would just go and put it into there, right there. Very nice and fine. So, there's that. Now, I already have it down, but this thing is usually up. You have to take this whole thing off, the whole back piece off. Pop, oh, my goodness, it broke. It popped off, wow. Fortunately, though, it's just a tab in, you know, kind of thing. <clears throat> tab in, tab in. God dang it, tab in. Ah, <sighs> oh, there we are. See, goes in. Get it off. You gotta do it that way, and then just put it back in. And there's that. And then put him in. He already has his little hole there. Just put it in, and there he is. Now, unfortunately, this is a very poor design here. Cause it's like he's in the shadow and toy other one in the Japanese version and then here's T line or I mean K line the 
Triceratops. Not teeth, but you know, just because. Oh man, this thing is loose for some reason. I don't know why this horn is. This horn's nice and tight. I don't know. I'll have to fix that somehow. But do him. He just. That's how his mouth opens. No teeth, because Triceratops don't eat me. This is a little symbol right there. His face and his horns for the two. I don't know if you can get that. That's not. Uh, and then you just set him down, and here's the Paleozoid or Kretz or Kretzo train or the ancestral engines, whatever you want to go by. But there they are. And now on to the transfer. Now on to the combiner form. Uh, oh, and if you want to, you can put T line here and have K line, you know, this way. But to be sure, that, that's just out of number for it. Boom into there. Now on to the transformation. Uh-huh. Yeah, transformation time, which is nice. Sorry. This thing's on a weird thing. But to do it, you take this back off. It just kind of thobs in there, see? Clip there, clip there, and then clips there. And put that back in. Take that, fold it, you know, like so. Fold it down. Doesn't actually flex it there. Then you take his arms off. The wheels off, which comes on. Oh, see, for some reason the thing doesn't want to stay on. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. Uh, okay, that might help. I don't know, but that's not. Thing's weird. Oh wait, is that one done or something? I don't know. I just got this down. Let's see, goes out of luck. So that comes off, and then you take this back piece off, and then this rotates up, and there's his head. Plug it back to be sawn and just kind of bind them up to where they'll match or whatever. And then just kind of go in and take off these. There we are. Then that's how his things fold up. Kind of reminiscent of the original Megazord, but in Japan it wasn't the original. So here's that. And you take the head and just attach it onto the here. Somehow. There we are. Like so. That's how that looks. There's the top. And here's the final piece. You just attach this to here. There's two things there, and that's where the clips go on. Put them there, and you got the top done. Almost. Take the arms. Now, unfortunately, now unlike in the uh, Japanese version, there's this uh, red thing here that you flip down, but we don't have that. So fold it in. There's that. Other side. There's that. And then just plug them on the tabs here and here. Then for these guys, now you take T line and K line, take them, open up their mouths, like that. Put down this thing first. <laughs> and it just clicks in there for that. And then you never get these confused because they always lean to the right way, just like in the original version. And the same thing with this guy. There's that. They just lean there. And you take the top here, top here, plug them in. Plug it in. Ugh, there. I have to force it. Don't be afraid to break it. Force it in. Uh, get there. And there's that. Let me get this back in the frame. And then there we have the Paleo Max Megazord. Now let's get into a close look here. Uh, there's his face. Right there. Make the things fold out. Legs. Yeah. So very good looking, you know, just like the original, except no tuck, no trunk movement, which is my really my only complaint with this thing is the tuck. It's a small detail that they could have put in, but I guess they decided not to. And well, that's it. Well, I'm running on about nine minutes, ten, fifteen seconds. So articulation is, you know, full 360 on the arms, and jet's just the basic. You can get some with the leg, but Actually, you really can't get it all that much, so not really on either leg unless you're. Oh, there you go. Rotate. Ah, pop the leg out. Ah, oh, well, fix that. Oh, fast. Now my next part uh, will be the combiner part. I will combine them or do an in between kind of thing. So the third part would probably be the last one. So it's probably gonna be a three-part video. So I'll be right back with the other parts. <laughs>